It is my honor to bring up your first comedian of the night, Joss! My name's Joss. Oh my god, it's right up here. Um, I'm another one of those uh, transgender people that are ruining our nation. <laughs> stealing Christmas and so on and so forth. Um, yeah, so, uh, so I moved here to LA a few years ago from the South. Um, for a lot of reasons, but essentially it boils down to me not wanting to be judged for my life decisions by someone with nuts on their truck. <laughs> but yeah, people in the South they have they have a lot of hurtful opinions about trans people. Like they like to say, "Oh well, God doesn't make mistakes," you know. Um, but I just I have one word for those people: Alabama. <laughs> Clearly, God makes mistakes. But yeah, it was, it was weird though, because I could never speak up to those people when I lived in the South, because no one knew I was trans. I was like a secret agent or something. Um, but, but that didn't stop them from knowing that something was different about me. So they just reverted to like the default Tennessee high school insult, which is, oh, you're gay. Um, so, but as, as, I, as I continued transitioning and becoming more and more of a woman, uh, I never really stopped liking girls. So at a certain point, I realized, like, oh shit, those ignorant rednecks were right all along. <laughs> I'm super fucking gay. <laughs> they just didn't realize that I'm the kind of sexy girl on girl kind of gay, not the kind that's gonna send you straight to hell. <laughs> Thankfully, no, but no one back home has heard that kind of like guys too, or they'd really think I was a heathen. <laughs> but I guess basically what I'm trying to say is if it moves, I'll fuck it. <laughs> right, yeah, as you can imagine, I, I like living in LA a lot better, um, but I feel like even here, people are kind of confused by trans people. They, they, I feel like there's this preconception that we're like deviants or that we're trying to trip them into sex or that we're perverts. Um, but look, none of that's true. You know, I'm not a pervert. I just thought it would be awesome to have tits. You know? <laughs> Sadly, I'm still a little lacking in that department. Um, but it's not like I can complain because they're tits. They're awesome. Um, but it's just that being a, like a big boned, broad chested Scandinavian lady with an A cup <laughs> is like being a six foot tall black man with a micro penis. Which is <laughs> not quite what the eye is expecting. You know? I got too high earlier. <laughs> um, so, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's it's not it's not all bad being trans though. Um, I feel like we at least have a unique perspective. You know, I think that guys and girls at some point in their life are going to wonder if the grass is greener on the other side. Um, but me, I have seen both sides. Um, I just about lost a nut climbing over the fence, um, but, but I did it. And yeah, once you see all the fucked up shit that, that you people have to do every day just because you're a guy or a girl, um, it just kind of, it makes the whole human race look kind of dumb or something, I guess. Um, like, I don't know, like, like, for instance, ladies, why, why do we have to shave and, and pluck every single part of our bodies like I mean I'll give it to you for the first 24 hours it feels amazing but can you honestly tell me that you feel still still feel sexy when you're three days in and your legs turn to sandpaper and your once silky smooth asshole is now like the spiky sarlacc pit from Star Wars <laughs> You laugh now, but that thing killed Boba Fett, I mean. <laughs> and, I mean, guys don't get off the hook either. Uh, 
especially straight guys. Straight guys have to make everything gay. Like, but if you just if you would just open up just a little bit, you might find out that there's some awesome gay shit. Like, like purses, for instance. Purses are the shit. Did you know that I can fit like a flashlight and a multi-tool and a mini George Foreman in my purse. And I still have room for like some beef jerky and a box of condoms if I feel like it, you know? <laughs> I mean, I guess as a guy, I could always have worn cargo shorts, but it, let's be honest, at that, at that point, you might as well just leave the condoms at home. <laughs> Thank God for Michael Kors. Igor told me to say that. Who the fuck is Michael Kors? <laughs> but yeah, there were some there were some uh, some different things about friendships too that I had to get used to when I when I changed genders. Like, uh, for instance, when I used to hang out with guys, they, all they talk about all the time was like having sex with girls or whatever. But yeah, so when I when I started hanging out with girls, it was hard to get used to because ladies are 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 never. They never seem that impressed when I tell them that I made my boyfriend come first last night. Like, and, and guys, I never understood, like as a secret agent woman, I never understood the obsession with penis size and like talking about how big that your penis is all the time. Like, I don't know, as a trans girl, I was always thankful to have a small dick. Uh, <laughs> because, you know, I, I pity the well-endowed trans girl who goes through all that trouble to have a sex change only to find out that she has the world's loosest pussy. You know? <laughs> but, you know, I think that, honestly, I think that the hardest thing about being trans is just blending in and just living your, your life every day. Um, like, I guess for those of you not in the know, there's two main types of trans people. There's FTM, which is female to male, and there's MTF, which is male to female. And then there's me, which is WTF. Like, what the fuck, you know? Like, this is, I guess it's just my life now or something. Um, it's, it's weird. It's like I'm in this like, twilight zone where my gender changes from second to second based on how far away someone's looking from and how shitty the lighting is. So, so like, if I'm, I'm jogging by some old man in, in like, the moonlight, you know, and he sees, like, Scarlett Johansson, or Meg Ryan, or who's that the House of Cards bitch, you know? But then all it takes is some prissy soccer mom seeing me under some fluorescent lighting at fucking Target or something, and suddenly I'm fucking Macaulay Culkin. <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> But it's it's so bad that I can I can go to the restroom and some lady will be like, Sir, you gotta get out of here. And so in, in desperation I run over to the men's room and some some men's like, Miss, you gotta get out of here. And so look, I I mean I understand people are uncomfortable or whatever, but you know what's more uncomfortable? Is being full of Taco Bell and having nowhere to go. <laughs> so, luckily I've come up with a solution. I've just started shitting in water fountains. <laughs> You're welcome, America. Yeah. But yeah, gender norms taste like shit. <laughs> you guys have been great. Thank you so much. <laughs>